If you look at the indictments that the U.S. has rendered against money launderers consistently over the past decade, call it a thousand a year, which is about right, well over 900, I think it's like 950 to 96, depending on your, your, your count, but 95 to 98 percent of these indictments are issued against individuals that are also indicted for predicate offenses. What does that mean? It means that either laundering is so easy that uh, the people who sell the drugs or commit the fraud launder their own funds, or we're just so not good at <laughs> finding the Kaiser Sose of money laundering that all we do is chase the predicate offender until they place the money and then we whack them with an indictment on money laundering on, to on top of or stacking a predicate charge. But the facts are the facts. 95, 98% of our indictments in money laundering are also against guys that are committing the predicate offense. Um, two ways to read that, and, and I have heard both sides of it ad nauseum. It's because Kaiser Sose of money laundering doesn't exist. These sort of, you know, uh, white knights of illicit finance are a myth. They don't really exist because it's too easy to launder your own stuff and it's too hard to find that mystical guy. So you just place it yourself. And I've heard the other side, which is, why do you think we only get a billion dollars of this? It's because we're missing 99.9% .9 of the elephant in the room, which is, are the guys that are so good that they escape detection. Can we take the boat? And they're both credible, right? I mean, they're, they're both reasonable responses. And, and the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. But I say that because I think what we, when, you, when you ask, um, you know, why is this complicated? Um, what does this look like? Um, how do we attack this? And ultimately, what are the solutions? That this, this sort of perspective lends, hopefully, some visibility into how much we don't know and how much opportunity we have to be disruptive over networks that, without a doubt, whether you believe in the predicate offenders can just launder their own stuff or not, you still need specialists to move money in ways that at least are addressing the primary concerns that we face by volume or by threat. And that is what creates